Welcome to the section on logical security controls. Logical security controls are at the heart of IT general controls testing, so this is a very detailed section. This section is divided into multiple lectures that are organized in a way that should be easy to follow. Here are the topics we will cover in this section. You will learn what logical security controls are, and we will cover 10 specific controls in logical security, including what should be considered when identifying and testing those controls. These controls are policies and procedures, user identification, user authentication, user authorization, security monitoring, adding and modifying users, terminating users, privileged user access, periodic user access review, and segregation of duties. I selected these 10 logical security controls because they are the key controls typically tested during IT general controls testing. What are logical security controls? Logical security controls are those controls that are intended to safeguard the organization's systems from a security access perspective. This means that logical security controls are concerned with keeping access to IT systems secure and restricted to only appropriate individuals. Logical security controls are present at all layers of the IT environment, the network, operating system, database, and application. To summarize what logical security controls do, logical security controls protect the IT environment from unauthorized access. This is important because unauthorized access may lead to the accidental or intentional alteration, corruption, or destruction of data and programs in IT systems. That is a data breach and we do not want that to happen. The lack of adequate logical security controls is one of the reasons for data breaches even in some of the largest and most sophisticated organizations in the world. In a well-designed IT control environment, robust logical security controls are built into the design of the IT environment and they are not just added as an afterthought. This means that when a new system is being designed, there is consideration for security controls instead of just adding those security controls after the system is already built. This provides better protection of the IT environment and the data that it holds. Sometimes this control area is referred to as access to programs and data. Logical access controls are meant to protect the integrity, confidentiality, and availability of data. These three concepts are referred to as the CIA triad and they are the foundation of security controls and policies. Let's review each one of these concepts. Integrity refers to the protection of data so that it is not intentionally or unintentionally modified in order for it to remain reliable. For example, you want to make sure that financial data about a company remains reliable by protecting it from unauthorized access. Access controls related to integrity prevent modification of data by unauthorized users, prevent unauthorized or unintentional modification of data by authorized users, and preserve internal and external consistency of data. The next concept is confidentiality, and this refers to the protection of data so that information is not disclosed to unauthorized persons or processes. As an example, not everyone should be able to see payroll data for employees, so HR systems need to be protected from a security perspective for confidentiality purposes. And the third concept is availability. This refers to the protection of systems so that authorized users have timely and uninterrupted access to information. You want to protect systems from hackers that may take it offline 
and make it unavailable to users when they need it. For example, Amazon wants to have 100% uptime on its website so that it's always available to customers.